Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com and my new site, um, RootGalaxyNote.com um, So, we're going to root our Galaxy Note here. Um, there's two methods. Uh, one of the methods is flashing a kernel using Odin, um, but, but you'll need a PC for that. And uh, that will actually install a Clockwork Mod Recovery, so you can install ROMs, backup ROMs and stuff. But we're going to do the first method first. This method roots your phone and doesn't touch anything else. This is rooting for gingerbread only. Um, so in the future when ICS comes out, I'll have another video and update the, the details on this video. Um, so first thing you'll want to do is actually um, go to settings and go to... Um, applications and under development make sure USB debugging is checked on and then you're gonna connect it to your computer via micro USB cable and this method works on all Windows um, Linux and Mac um, thank you very much let's go to our computer next next you want to um, install the drivers I'll have driver links for Windows only if you have Linux or Mac you don't have to install any drivers Oh, also one more thing I forgot, um, make sure when it's connected, make sure it's not, it's not uh, connected as a disk drive, alright? And next what we're going to do is uh, install the drivers, um, I've already installed them. If you didn't install it for Windows, um, just download the Samsung USB driver um, program and run it and it will install it for you. And to verify that you've installed your drivers, simply open up control panel, go to hardware sound, open up device manager, and under here you should get a Samsung Android phone and Samsung Android ADB interface. If you don't, um, try reinstalling the drivers and, uh, and maybe try unplugging and plugging in your Galaxy Note and make sure it's in USB debugging mode and uh, everything else is turned off. Um, it's in charge only mode. Um, so let's close that. Once you've got those um, done, uh, simply download Galaxy Note root.zip. Um, if you unzip it, you'll get a folder with a bunch of files. Um, for Windows, all you have to do is uh, run this file, double click on it. And for Mac or Linux, you'll have to open up a shell and actually you might be able to double click on these for Mac or Linux, try it. If it doesn't work, you can up, open up a shell and type, um, go to the directory that's there and type s, um, sh run me Linux dot sh for Linux and sh run me, run me Mac dot sh for Mac. Um, you might actually have to add sudo sh like that. Um, for Linux Ubuntu. Anyway, for for Windows, you should be able to just double click there and it should start the rooting process. So, it is actually starting the rooting process and it's pushing Zerg Rush and sleeping a bit. Um, so, it's gonna start rooting and it'll reboot the phone. I'll show you in a bit second. So we'll let this do its thing and uh, have a coffee. Um, this is the this is the method one. This won't touch anything but root it. It makes it simple. For those of you who just want to run rooted apps, this is the method to go. Um, but for those of you who want to install new ROM, I'll have another method um, using Odin to flash a kernel. But the beauty of this method is that it doesn't touch your kernel. Um, to get cl Clockwork Mod Recovery, you have to install a custom kernel, which can affect um, your um, stock performance. It could be better or worse, but this rooting method doesn't touch the kernel, so that's why, you know, for those of you safe um, players, it might work better. So I'll be back when this progresses. So I've got a overseer found the path. Um, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. So 
we'll see. We'll be back. Hi, well, folks. So it progressed a little bit. Um, now it's going through. It actually took almost five minutes. Now my phone is rebooting. And uh, see, it, it, when you use a different kernel, you'll have a thing there. But this way, it doesn't touch anything. It just gives you root um, on your Galaxy Note. And uh, let me switch to switch the camera here. And this is an exciting moment. Mm -hmm. um, we just gotta verify that we have super user applications, and we're all good to go. Um, let's see here. Where is super user? Do you see it? Do I see it? Uh oh. Where is super user? Okay, my eyes are not working this morning, maybe. Uh oh, that's weird. Oh, I double checked. I do have root. Um, if you don't see super user, um, you can try downloading it on, on the um, market and it should be rooted. So let's go, let's just download it. You can just install it. And uh, it's supposed to install the, the um, oh, you know what? I forgot to add the super user .apk. You shouldn't have to do this. Um, you'll have, you'll have um, super user. Um, it works and uh, it's working. So I have root. Um, I can verify that I have root by downloading a rooted app. Just do like rooted um, apps. And let's just get the uh, CPU tuner. Oh, you know what? We can just get titanium backup, which requires root. And we'll verify. Um, you shouldn't have to do this. I forgot to add the superuser.apk file to the um, to the Galaxy Note um, root.zip, um, but you should have super user installed when you do this. Oh, that's what happened, yeah. Um, so I'll add that right now. Um, so let me open it up, and we should have super user. There you go, allow. And so we have super user rooted phone. Um, this is the method number one, the safest method. If you just need want to run rooted apps like Titanium Backup app or Wi-Fi Tether app. Anyway, that was how to root um, your Galaxy Note method one. Method two is coming up um, next. So thanks y'all and subscribe. And uh, this works on Mac, Linux, or Windows. See y'all later.